So what are the Jets going to do with their – is it Joe Douglas's call or are they – or? I haven't heard the two dreaded words of corn and ferry yet, which normally happens. <laughs> uh, what, 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 what's happening here with the Jets? Well, the wild card is Woody and Johnson because <laughs> he, he, he will be back January 21. I didn't understand how this worked. I figured he would remain the U.S. ambassador to the U.K. while the, the process of confirming an, a, a successor unfolded. For career diplomats, they stay in place. For political appointees, they're gone as soon as the president who appointed them is gone. So January 21, Woody's coming back. How involved is he going to be between now and January 21? How involved will he be at the end? Will he be in on the interviews? Is he going to come back to Christopher and say, can I please have back the keys to the car that you've run into a ditch? (laughs) So that's, that's really the question here, and we don't know the answer to that yet, but we do know he'll be back January 21. How active he is in the short term remains to be seen. But so uh, who have both of these teams lined up to talk to? Because the Lions are now uh, in this mix. The Texans are, 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 are obviously gotten a head start. The Chargers are now in this mix. Let's take it one at a time here. Uh, you mentioned Urban for Jacksonville. What about the Jets? How that stands well, right now? today's the day where we get the flood of names of all of the coaches with teams that are still in the playoffs who are being – requested permission view. So, you know, they, they, we're, we're going to see a long list of guys who will be interviewed. The Jets haven't let it be known who they may be targeting. There's no one out there like an Urban Meyer who is lining up, hey, you know, uh, people and, and making it clear that, that he's got this if he wants it. So the Jets haven't given anyone the indication yet. I'm, I'm fascinated by the possibility of Jim Harbaugh. I don't know what the latest is on his extension. It's not a coincidence that the extension talk bubbles up the day before the last day of the NFL regular season, and teams have been doing their homework on Harbaugh, and I know that he would not be all that upset about possibly going back to the NFL, and I know that Woody Johnson has been smitten with him, and they've thought about him in the past. So, look, I, I, I don't know that he's the right guy for that market, but that, that's a guy that, that – that's one of those that – Beyond the usual subject, uh, suspects, beyond the, the, the lather, rinse, repeat candidates we're going to hear about for all these jobs, that's one to me that I, that I find intriguing. It'll be interesting to see how it plays out. The lather, rinse, rinse repeat are, uh, are, are Eric Bieniemy, the OC in Kansas City, Robert Sala, the DC from San Francisco. Um, who, who are some others? That, that are going to be thrown well, out there. Yeah, for... you, Brian Dayball, the Bills offensive coordinator, is, is coming into the mix. Um, and, you know, and, and sometimes the names will surprise you, like Matt Eberflus. There wasn't a whole lot of buzz about him in the regular season, but now he's gotten multiple requests. He's the defensive coordinator with the Indianapolis Colts. And some of these other guys, you know, like I, I, we were expecting maybe Byron Leftwich and Todd Bowles to be on the list, and maybe they will be. Um, but the, the two coordinators for the Buccaneers, they've finished strong, and especially Leftwich on the offensive side of the ball. I'd expect him to start getting interviews. I, I, just, I think that because of the minority hiring rates and where the league has been and what the league is doing to try to turn it around, there's going to be a lot of pressure on teams to have inclusive, diverse searches. That was, that's what surprised me about this, this idea that the Urban Meyer cat is so far out of the bag in Jacksonville where it looks like he's the guy. I think most teams are going to keep their cards close to the vest. They're going to interview a lot of guys and take their time and not rush into it, um, even if they secretly know who it is that they want to hire. I, I think we're going to hear a lot of names over the next week or two of guys who are getting opportunity to sit down and interview for these jobs. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.